We are at Ravensburg today. I figured it was about time we got this thing going. I've been kind of chomping at the bit. I was going to go ahead and finish up our Let's Play on Stone Valley with this episode, but I don't know. I was ready for this. So we are looking out over one of our field, field number 10 right now. So if you haven't been on this map, which I'm sure most of you have, or maybe you have, maybe you haven't, what do we start out with? I think we start out with just this. Yeah. So we start out with field 9, field 10, and the farmyard, which consists of a cow pasture, which I believe holds 200 cows. We do have a chicken pen snuggled up in here. I do not remember how many chickens it holds, but I am sure it is plenty. I'm sure it'll be just enough. Now, uh, field 10 is our oat field. It is ready to be harvested. Field 9 has already been harvested, so we've got nothing in it. It needs, I think it needs plowed. I'm sure it does. Everything always does. 9 needs plowed, and then we will definitely need to uh, plow number 10 once we get it harvested we've got some decent equipment nothing major as always most of it will end up being changed there is our harvester here let's pull this up here and do garage and here we go so we'll just kind of scroll on over we're not going to take too much time on this got us a new holland what 125 horsepower a case with 170 a Massey Ferguson. We're sitting there for a harvester. It holds, what, 8,600 liters? Pretty good. Pickup truck, which I will probably be getting rid of. I usually don't use a pickup very often unless it has a fifth wheel and then we can hook up a trailer. This is a nice little trailer. This one will probably stay with us for a while. Header, corn header, uh, subsoiler. Very nice. What is that? That is a little cedar. That does what? four meters we will not be keeping that that will be going on its way uh we got a fertilizer spreader it holds what 1500 liters oh that's just uh an increase for the tank i see now what do we got here there must be a planter and that is 4.5 meters well we are moving up a little uh, fertilizer sprayer there's the spreader with that 9000 liters wow does uh, lime and fertilizer, little mower, tether, windrow, loading wagon, 30, that's not bad, 34,000 liters. A little uh, water tank also does milk, herbicide, fertilizer. All right, so that's about it. Little weights and there's their fun stuff here. Oh, okay, so there's our machinery haul and stuff. So we can actually sell this if we wanted to change out what we've got. Now, the only thing I am not sure about here is we had the farm walls and gates I got. I understand that when we get rid of it, but I am not sure what removing the borders is. I can't figure it out. I deleted it once, but it really, I didn't see any difference. So if you know what that actually is, please let me know. That'd be, that'd be most awesome. Now, I have noticed that I, for whatever reason, and I don't need it now, I'll have to figure it out, but I cannot get into, wait, over here, animal pens. No, 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 nothing. Everything else I can get into. Miscellaneous, silos, all that I can get into, but animal pens is a negative Ghost Rider. It does nothing. So obviously it is a mod conflict of some kind, which will need to be figured out because I would like to do a uh, bio milk. Try to walk in that wall. Eventually we'll find somewhere where we can set that up. I was thinking maybe over here somewhere or something. Maybe we'll have to see. I haven't got that far into it yet. From the little bit that I've seen, this is a really good looking map. I mean, everything looks good. Just even the wildflowers look pretty good. Lighting's awesome. I am quite impressed. So with all of that, I think it's time to get this party started. So let's get in our harvester and see about harvesting some oats. Is that, oh, it's not even hooked up. I see. I'm like, wait, what in the world is going on here? So let's, let's pull up our map real quick. And okay, straw swath is on. 
Oh, I probably need to unfold, do I not? Let's unfold all that, get that rocking while we're heading. Eh, don't hit our building. There we go. We should be good from there. Let's load. Whoa, my God, that thing is uh, a little jumpy. That's better. Uh, take it easy, man. Now, this is not a massive field, but I have to say that looks bigger while we're here than it did looking at it on the map. So I have changed none of the equipment. Everything is in-game stuff. Eventually, we will definitely be upgrading just because, I mean, I'm not... To be honest, I'm not used to harvesting at six miles an hour, so we will need to be doing something here. This is going to take a little bit more effort than I like, but I think we'll be able to handle it. I do like that the uh, fields, at least most of the fields, look pretty worker friendly. I do like to utilize those guys, and we are playing with uh, Maze Plus. I do have precision farming installed as well. I am not sure that we are going to be using precision farming. I don't mind it, but it's just, uh, you know, I don't know. I've used it on a last couple of maps, and I'm not sure if it's uh, something I want for this one or not. It is undecided. I guess we're going to have to figure it out at some point in time. Let's raise that guy up. Now, it looks like... I might be able to do this without any headlands at all if I just put this on a worker. Well, let's find out here. Let's let's see. Because what I could do is we need a plow. Drop a worker down on this and see what they're going to do. Do I get them fairly lined up? Well, that looks pretty good. So I don't... Do we have a plow? Let's see here. I don't think I do. So wh what was it? There's a couple things I thought we could get rid of. One was this cedar at four meters. I, I don't want it. It just might as well go away. Uh, and 1,500 liters is not really much as far as extra capacity of fertilizer. I think it holds, what, 9,000 liters? I think we're going to be fine. So let's get rid of that. I don't want a planter at 4.5 meters either. So we're going to get rid of that. Now I am undecided. I'm going to get rid of this as well. Oh wait, this can be used instead of a plow? But really, I have one that I like. And it's really hard not to, not to use this guy. It's my favorite one. Where is it? This guy right here, the six meters. What is that? That's six meters. I mean, that's 17,000 and this is 8,000. That goes two mile an hour faster. I'm not sure how, how I can't buy this one. And something tells me, I don't know if we're going to need it very much at all. I do have a uh, periodic plowing turned off. So right now, I think we're only going to need to plow two different fields. Let's see what color we want. You know, I think I'm just going to... Oh, how about that? That's a bright yellow now. Ooh, we shouldn't lose that. Working speed, we can up that. Oh, hot diggity dog. Let's go. Whoa, 16. 16.2. I think that's a winner, folks. Let's take it. Let's lease that. There we go, there we go. All right, that's pretty cool. So there, uh, so we're sitting pretty good right now. We're up 40 grand. Now I don't know if, where, oh shoot, I don't even know where the store is. Like I said, I have not been around here very much at all. Oh, there's the shop. So if we reset, will it, Okay, it leaves it right there. So we are going to need to come and pick that up. So do I want to... Now, maybe this might be a good opportunity to use the truck. I think it would fit in the bed of the truck. Let's see. Let's tab over. Let's, 
So I think we go this way. Wait. Wait, wait, there's the gate. Okay, trying to figure this out. All right. Now, oh good, I've even left the gate open. This is definitely, I definitely like this map. Like I said, I went around it just a little bit. And I think it looks pretty good. Now, I don't really know any of the specs on this. But I think we'll figure it all out. So let's get to the store. Let's grab that uh, plow or subsoiler. And uh, get back here and see what we can do. So alright. I don't know. That's a little bigger than I was thinking it was. Now it folds up. But of course I can't fold it up. Because I don't have anything. No hydraulics. I don't think I can hook it up to my truck. Can I? I'm pretty sure I know the answer to this. But... Let's see, let's back up and let's just see. Mm, no. Alright, well we're going to do the best we can. Let's drop down our tailgate here. You know, I wish they would have folded this up for us. Uh. There? <laughs> That's right. It's realism is key. Right? Oh, wait. That's sorry. That's somebody else's line. He's, he's much better than I am. Let's get on in there. Do I have any straps? I don't think I do. Do I? Nope. I think I need to be on the outside for this. Okay. So, you know, I, I think it'll be all right. It might scratch it a little bit here and there, but we're going to we're going to try anyway. I'm not sure if I like all these gates and everything that's everywhere. Just because then I think they close the shop usually at a certain time. Uh-oh, our helper is getting full. Okay, we are back. Now, I think this guy said it was, uh, what, 170 horsepower is what this took? I might just be just pulling that number right out of my rump. I, I, I don't know that I remember. Come on. Oh, pick it up. There we go. Set her right there. That, no, no, no. No flying today. Maybe. Nah, we're alright. Okay, so we don't need to fly. Let's get this guy out of the way. Let's just park it over here in the car wash. Get it there. So, we need, I think, the case. I don't think the New Holland is going to have enough gumption to get it done. First things first, I think we need to get over there and get our harvester emptied out. There we go. That shouldn't take us long. Back up just a wee bit. Oh, they are full. Well, they've done pretty good. Now, eventually, we may turn both of these fields into one, but we'll have to see how it goes. All right, perfect. So we'll just leave them to their own devices here. They don't need us. Oh, wait, I need that. I need that trailer, though. No, don't do that. So that's what happens when I turn on super strength. I always throw my vehicles all over the place. There we go. So now we need to get over here, grab our uh, subsoiler, and see if we can get this, uh, what is it, number nine? Get number nine taken care of. Well, it was worth a shot. I was hoping maybe a fast farmer would kick in with this guy, but to no avail. <laughs> we are going slow whether we're harvesting or whether we're plowing. Yeah, okay, our worker's up there. He's going pretty good. Hey, I just saw a plane flying by us. Or over us, I guess. That thing even is pretty looking way over there. Got some forestry over there. I think I am going to really enjoy this map. 
so far so good it looks it looks like it's gonna be nice for sure with the water and uh, everything else it's not flat which I kind of like it's not so hilly that you can't get up and down the fields No, no, no. I don't even own that. I shouldn't be able to plow up somebody else's field. I didn't. I thought I raised it. I'm sorry, neighbor. Oops. They're not going to like me very much. I just moved in already causing problems. So, all right. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get this thing ready for some crops. Well, it looks like we are having a little problem over there. So here, let's uh, put our worker over here. We traded him out. Let's get back over here and see. Uh, come on, let me in. Stop it. Here, let me just fix that right now. There we go. Okay. Now we won't be throwing our stuff around. Drop it down. Beautiful. No, what are you doing? There we are. That will suffice. So what are we going to get? Well, not a huge amount here. But not too shabby. Now, I'm trying to decide. Do I want to keep the straw or do I want to sell it? Maybe we will just sell it since it's the start and we will need all the money that we can get and we don't really have any animals that are going to need anything yet the cows eventually i will definitely get cows but what i would like to do is i would like to get the uh the bio milk cows and give that a whirl i've never tried it and bio milk is a lot more expensive than regular milk let me get up here to the end here and we'll pull it up and take a look. Just hopefully we can actually get the dang thing to work. There we go. Look at that. That looks pretty good. It's probably because I didn't do it. That's why it looks good. So let's see. Go here and we would need this. Bio milk. Bio milk. Where is it? Come on, Biomilk. I know I saw it on here. Oh, wrong way, evidently. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And there it is. Look at $8,000 per thousand liters. Wow. That's crazy. And I did not even, I have not even installed the BioMilk cell point. We may, I mean, I thought we would do that because I didn't realize everywhere else sold it. But let's see, what's regular milk going for? Herbicide, da, 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 milk. <laughs> the, best, the best price is what? $16.49 versus $8. Yeah, I think maybe I think maybe we're gonna go for the bio milk if we can get it to work. If I can get the uh, animal pins to actually click up and pull up, that is, I guess, gonna be challenge number one. I think eventually we'll figure it out. I hope. Let's pull this guy over here. Get it out of the way.
There we go. Put things back where we got them. Perfect. Now, where is our little New Holland? What, that's got, I think, 125 horsepower. It should be able to pull our loading wagon without too much problem. There it is. I guess, wait, what did I hook up? Okay, hooked up the weight. That is fine. We'll go ahead and take the weight. So there's our loading wagon. But this thing held... 35,000 liters? Right around there. I mean, give or take a few. Did I miss? I missed. Missed badly, too. <laughs> Oopsie. There we go. So let's get over here and see about picking up some of our straw. Turn this bad boy on. And there we go. So I would imagine that we will fill this up maybe twice. Oh, yeah, probably. We are already, let's see, right about now we're at 10%. So, yeah, I think we're going to fill it up maybe twice. I don't think we should get much more than that, though. Two times should do it. I could be wrong. I'm usually wrong. You know how that goes. Me and my guesstimating are not uh, not what I would call good at. I know. I know. I'm not trying not to get in their field anymore. So let's uh, let's get this all picked up. See how much money we can make off of it. And we are full. So where, oh where, are we going? Yeah, that looks like a little shortcut. Looks like we can make it all the way down to the road and not drive in a field. That would be pretty nice. So where are we going? We need grass. Or no, not grass. We need straw. Wow. Okay. So we are getting a whole 99 cents. Per thousand liters, or ninety nine dollars, not ninety nine cents. Uh, so, ooh, so we're gonna get thirty, about thirty five hundred dollars. Okay, now can we? We can't hold any straw either, so there's nothing we can do with it. So I guess let's uh, tag it. Let's tag it. Oh, look at that! I can see the green light from here. Luckily, it's not that far. So let's get over there and get this big pile of money we're going to get. So which way do I go? Do I go left, go around there, down that road, or do I go through here? I think we should go down that road. I think that's the way to go. All right. The helper has completed their task. So I'm assuming that our field is plowed, which is nice. Oh, look at that. I hit that. Oh, oh, I hit that, too. I was so busy patting myself on the back that I couldn't drive. All right, let's get this thing. Oh, we could have went both ways, it looks like. Nice, easy sell point. Perfect. Oh, look at the money just shooting up. I think we've almost made a 1000 Wow. Straw is not the way to get rich. So we made $2,300 off of our straw. But I think right now, every little bit helps. We are going to need all the money that we could get. That looks like a little horse. Oh, this must be where the uh, stables are. And I know we can buy these. I'm pretty sure. Wait, let's go here. Oh, that's just the animal dealer. Oh, there's the horse paddock. 
I think what that was that was not too much money either. Ninety five thousand. We might do horses. That's not something I generally do. But I am not opposed to it. I think there was a uh, oh, it's like a horse extension or something on this map. I have not looked into it at all. But uh, I I would definitely give some horses a try. Look at this map. It's just really, really nicely done. All the different foliage and stuff on the side of the road. We've got the nice little train bridge going to overpass there. So it looks like we got just a little bit over there to clean up, which is not a big shocker. Turn. Come on. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, nice. This thing has a pretty good turning radius. That turns pretty nice. The case over there was not turning uh, near as sharp as this New Holland is. So, that's alright. We, we're probably going to be upgrading a lot of tractors anyway. But we can. that case is going to do us just fine, I think, for a while. At least a couple of episodes. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep on getting this thing knocked out. And then we need to do something with field number nine. And I need to decide if we're going to use precision farming or not. Because if we are, the next step is to get in there with a precision farming tool and analyze everything. Or I believe we can hire somebody to come in and do the analyzing for us. Now what I did... Uh, before is I actually I put the analyzer on the front of the tractor and then I came through and either while I was liming or while I was putting crops in the ground because I know we're going to have to lime as well so I need to ponder that just a little bit how we want to do it if we want to use precision farming if we don't want to use it and if we do, how do we want to proceed? So let me think about that and uh, get this all finished up. And then we'll hook back up and go from there. So this guy is just about done. Got a little bit to pick up over here. So I did end up taking one more load over to the cell point. So we got, well, not quite. Two and a half, or probably about two and a third, maybe a little bit more than two and a third. Shut her off. There we go. So we need. You know what I forgot to do is I forgot to empty our harvester into our trailer over there. I was so anxious to get the dang thing put away. I should shut that off. That I forgot to empty all the harvest out of it. There you go. That's that's a big brain move right there, without a doubt. Let's see. Not there. No, no. There it is. Let's get up here. And see. Now, oh wait. Is this all good? This side looks real good. That looks taken care of. What are you doing? Raise, no. What are you doing? Raise up. Okay. Well, it was making that look. So I thought it was doing something. But it's just an animation for... Nothing, I guess. So I can only go eight mile an hour even when the plow is up. We are, we did get up to nine. Oh, maybe. There we go. That makes the difference. So you got to fold it if you actually want to go at any speed. Okay, we can handle that. Whoa, slow down. Drop it down. Beautiful, and we got just a couple little specks over here as well. Raise it up, and then this guy will be done. So, and I'm guessing that we're going to go ahead and do the precision farming. Go a little hill, uh, man, a little bitty hill, and that thing is struggling hard. Well, I could turn diff lock and stuff on, but uh, a little too late now. So now we do not, I don't believe we have the precision farming tool. 
And that would be something I think we should probably go ahead and buy. Because we're going to be using it on every new field we get. Would this be, is this our slurry pit? Or not slurry, but our manure pit? You know, I bet it is. I mean, we don't need it yet. We don't have any cows, but. Now, I wonder what. Oh, that must be slurry. I was looking. Well, come on, let go. There we go. Because it has, oh, it has the pipe coming out of it and a little bit of uh, nastiness kind of flowing out of the pipe. So we must pick our milk up there. We pick our slurry up here. Manure behind me. All right. Okay. I'm figuring it out. Slowly, slowly. So what do we need? We need to get a precision farming tool. And would that be under miscellaneous, I think? Should be. Oh, there it is. There it is. 23,000. That's not too bad, I guess. Now, how much is it? Hold on. How much is it if we come in here, we go to precision farming, and request analysts of field? How much is that going to cost? Eh. Uh, it requires 2,000. Oh, boy. Well, the laboratory would cost the same anyway. So it would be $2,600 to have them do it. And the whole thing is going to cost us $23,000. Oh, decisions, decisions. You just try to wonder, is that going to be the smart? You know, I'm not going to do this every time. So never mind. We might as well get the tool and just let's just do it. Okay, let's get over here. There it is. And 15 mile an hour standard. Well, of course we want faster. If we can go faster, I say take it. Warning signs. I don't need any warning signs. It does 18 meters. Okay, so let's buy it. Yes, indeed. There we go. Now we own that guy. We don't have to worry about it. And we are going to need to do what? We're going to need to put lime in that field. We do have a lime spreader, so I don't think we need that. And I'm not sure if we have a silo here to get lime with or not. There's fertilizer. That must be herbicide over here, there. And I'm not sure if we would need to fill these up first. I don't know. I don't really know anything about this map, to be honest. And there is lime. So let's figure that out right now. Where, oh, where are you two not? Ah, search the world over. Sorry, I got a little carried away. That's a hee-haw thing for those of you who do not know. So where is, and don't ask me what hee-haw is. If you're too young for it, then you probably don't want to listen to it anyway. <laughs> is it in here? Now, I know that I have it, because when I come in here and we go garage, wasn't it in there? Right here. So there it is. And one thing about precision farming is you go through so much lime. Where? Oh, up oh, there it is. I must be blind. Don't take me snake hunting, because uh, it is not going to work. I was... Oh so busy looking at the uh, silos there I didn't see the big red lime spreader come on baby let's get you let's get you get you there it is hey it's whoa it's full of lime now I didn't do that I didn't cheat I didn't do nothing they left me a full spreader full of lime that's awesome so let's take that up here. We'll drop it off. Then we need to run to the store. Grab our precision farming analyzer thingy. I know. Technical terms. Technical terms. Hope I'm not talking above y'all's head. <laughs> so, all right. I'll see you right back here.
And we have made it back to the farm after an uneventful trip to the store. Now, I got to say, it goes much quicker in my pickup truck than it does in this old case here. So let me turn on this guy. And let's unfold sensor. That's better. Turn on sensor. Do I need to wait? I don't really need to lower it. I mean, I guess we will. I don't know that it makes any difference, but we did it. So, okay, so we have automatic application rate. We got, we got, okay, so we're going to go there. Scoot over just a wee bit. I don't want to miss. There we go. That should be perfect. I think this worked out pretty darn good to do both of them at the same time. And I am shocked that how little lime we used. Every time I have used lime with precision farming, it is just like, like sand running through a sieve. It is ridiculous about how much it uses. But for whatever reason, it did very good on this one so let's i want to go it, it there we go let's fold sensor and then i need to deactivate automatic here and just give this a little shot there it is perfect we did we used 30 percent like i said that's just crazy I know how much lime I've used before. I'm thrilled to death. Don't get me wrong. I am not upset about that at all. I am just a tad bit shocked. So we need to do what? We need to grab... Well, we need to grab our oats. Put the rest of them in there from our harvester. Let's shut that. Whoa. Turn it. Come on, come on, turn, you beast. Oh, this will be a tight fit, won't it? I don't know. Am I skilled enough to get this in there? Well, eventually, yes, but... Oh, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, there we go. I have to say, I still think it's easier to do in real life than it is to back things up in farm sim. But that's just, that just me personally. Let's, uh, where am I going to drop this? That's what, I, oh, I know where we can drop it. Let's back this thing up here. I'm not going to need it for a little while, so let's put it right over here. Perfect. All right, let's get over here and grab that uh, wagon. Get her topped off, or at least the rest of it, out of the harvester. And let's go see how much uh, how much we're going to get out of it. So let's see. I don't even think we're going to get 50% out of this. But we should, yeah, we will be close to 50%. I think this had, what, 3,000 liters in it or something like that? Well, I guess I, oh, no. It's my tractor, I hear. Wow, that's a loud tractor. Holy cow. No, not backwards, you nut. Steering backwards is messing me up. Some days I can do it real well. Other days I look like a complete maroon <laughs> trying to back up. Don't know my left from my right. There it goes. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. 
Looks like it's going to be close to 50%. Come on, baby. Do it. Beautiful. Let's see if we can back up a little better here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now I don't look like such a maroon. Or maybe I do. <laughs> All right. There it is. And 59%. Sweet. So what is the price for oats? Oats, oats, oats. Right here we go. Now, I mean, that doesn't look too bad. We're right there next to canola for the most part. And I am on, I think it's normal. Am I not? Yeah, I'm on normal difficulty. I'm trying not to do easy. I mean, easy is better. You get, you always get more. And what if we turned it to easy? Oh, not hard. We don't want hard. I only want to do hard. I think if I do a survival one, I was thinking about doing hard. So oats are 1940. Yeah, I think we're going to do normal. Let's do normal. There we go. Okay. Oh, wait, I needed that. I needed that. Go back. Go back. So oats. And this, we're at the Ravensburg Mill. Is that where we sold just a little bit ago? To be honest, I don't know. Let's see. Where is? No, I don't think it is. Where? Oh, oh way down here. No, I have not been there. So what? Okay, so that's not too bad. We just come down here, go across the bridge, all the way down. Should be pretty much a straight shot. Sweet. Okay. All right. We got this. So there's a green light. Now all we have to do is figure out how to get to it. Oh, well, that's train track, so I don't think it would be there. Hmm. Let's pull up the map and see what we can see. Uh, well... I don't know. It looks like maybe. All right, let's go up here and turn. Maybe there's a road I'm just not seeing. Uh, nope. No road there. Okay, so I guess let's turn around and we'll go the other way. Sorry about your field. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. It's got to be over here. I could have, I guess, went through the train tracks there, but that's uh, kind of cheaty, which is all right. We don't mind cheaty, do we? I certainly don't mind cheaty. I am not uh, realistic by any stretch of the imagination. So it should be coming around here. There we go. All right, we got there roundabout way, but we did it. This ought to help out. I don't really know how much we're going to get out of it. But uh, should it looks like we could get uh, 14 and a half. That is not bad. Not bad at all for a little oat field that had probably no fertilizer. All needed plowed. Very nice. Whoa, that was my way out. That was my way out. Oopsie. Okay, so let's get her butt back to the farm. And then... Oh, you know, we're going to need some type of cedar slash planter. And I don't know. I don't know which one we want, to be honest. Because I'm not sure what we're going to be putting in the ground. We've got two fields. I wouldn't mind trying a new crop. You know, I think I think we're going to go with the horse. And I think to start off with, I think we've got to rent it. We'll bump up the speed, but it uh, doesn't really matter. We can fast farm with it. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's lease this guy. And there we are. All right, so... There's no hitch on the back of this, is there? Well, there is, but I think it's a pin hitch, so I don't think it's going to do us any good. Let's go. Oh, what's the horsepower rating on this guy? I want. Uh, -oh. uh, where is it? Where is it? 
Oh, must have been the other way. Just kind of curious. Oh, least. Sheesh. And, oh my. Okay, so we are so underpowered. <laughs> it's not even funny. We need about 100 more horsepower here. What, because I think this, our case only has 170? Yeah, 170? And we need 270. So what, what are we going to do? I guess we're going to have to lease something. Now wait, there is a couple of tractors. I want to see. We got some new ones. I think that, is that the new JCB? I think, no, I don't think so. I don't know. Take some more research so I can figure it out. Now, we just got, I just downloaded a couple different tractors. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. Look at that. A hundred thousand. And that bad boy is 510 horsepower. Same with the claws. That's pretty dang good. I don't know that you could beat that. You can't beat that with a stick. Now, it doesn't go very fast, mind you, but I don't really want the claws. Let's go with the dog, 95E. So, awnings, doesn't look like we can bump up the speed any. Oh, I like awning too. I like the black, I think. This, I was chomping at the bit to try this. I don't really want tinted. Is that non-tinted? See, that looks like it has a tint. So let's go there, and I, I mean, I think 510 should do it. What's the difference? It's like 100 bucks, 200 bucks. All right, so I guess... We're going to try it, right? It has a three-point everything on the back. We're good. Let's lease it. I was really thinking that I was going to try to do less leasing in this Let's Play. But as we're sitting here with a whole bunch of leased already. Sounds good. Looks good. A little short, stubby thing. Oh, my goodness gracious, it's great for the environment. Look at all black smoke coming out of that thing. Wow. I don't think it's going to have any problem at all pulling this guy. Well, that's pretty cool. I was hoping I'd get to use this. I just didn't think I'd get to use it already. All right, let's get her butt back to the farm. Let's see if we can get some crops in the ground. So now I guess we need to see. Oh, I bet I don't have any, 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 any of uh, fertilizer or anything else, do I? I got nothing. Corn found it. I was all the way down at the store. And did I get anything? No, I didn't. Well, fooey. Well, I guess that does let me know that my uh, silos here are empty. We will need to fill those up. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to run back down to the store. And let's get this guy filled up with the product. And then uh, come back here and see about putting some of it in the ground. Now, what I decided I would do is I already had a trailer. I already had a tractor sitting over here. So I thought, you know, hey, I'll just buy the seed and the fertilizer and throw it in the trailer. And then I got to wondering about this place over here. And it sells like everything over here. So I think what we're going to do is let's just get over here and we'll fill the trailer up completely with seed. And then I'm going to buy bags of fertilizer. I already bought some before I realized I could come over here and do this. Now, hopefully this will save us money in the long run. I would assume it would. Wow, I don't know. Do I need... I don't know if I need that much. I think, okay, that, that's good. So that's $10,000 worth of seed. So we got, what, almost 17,000 liters? 
I think that is going to be plenty. We've only got two fields, so I should be able to plant those fields, I don't know, what, 20 times over? But eventually, I, it will all get used. It always does. So now, let's throw these bags of fertilizer on here. And hopefully, they're going to ride just fine. Where you at? Where you at? Come here. Let's pick that up. Show off my basketball skills here. I'm gonna stay. It, all right. I think it sinks to the bottom, which is nice. I was afraid it was gonna stay on top and then just kind of roll all the way out. Oh, beautiful. We should be able to uh, fill up the cedar and have a little bit left over. I don't think we're gonna have that much left over, but we'll make another trip down here and fill up the trailer with fertilizer as well also they sell lime here let's take a quick look here so we have what uh that's harbor so that must be a selling point they do liquid fertilizer lime uh herbicide fertilizer over here dry fertilizer and also seed it does it's hard to click on the seed icon it doesn't want to cooperate much but this should get us rocking and rolling for at least a couple of fields, the two that we have. So let's get back there. Let's get that thing filled up and start getting some crops in the ground. Now, I don't know why, but you can only set these things down and have them do what they need to do if they're upside down. Not sure why that does it, but it most certainly does. Oh, we need to open up a grate over here. I forgot to do that. And then we should have a little bit in our silos, which should work out and make it convenient for us later. There we go. Oh, back it up there. There we go. Actually get it going in the silo. I think that would be a benefit. So we'll go ahead and we'll dump all of this in there and then fill up our cedar. Very nice. Now, I have no idea how much any of these silos hold it might tell us you know i don't know does it if we come over here and seed oh wow so we can hold a hundred and twenty thousand liters of seed now we should be able where is lime i think we can hold more lime we can't hold so uh, hmm oh silos other total capacity so I'm not sure. We must have multiple silos somewhere. That's all I can figure. And where's our lime? Same amount of lime. Now, that's funny. The lime silo has two. So, oh, well. I don't know. So, yeah, because we come over here, and lime has two silos back to back. But the others, I think, only have one, don't they? Oh, no, they have two. That's all right. Never mind. I'm losing my mind here. Let's just tab over. Come on, Greenpeace tractor. Let's go. I I really have to say, I like this tractor. It turns on a dime. It is ridiculous. It turns right now. almost turns too sharp when you've got equipment behind you. Let's open her up. See if we can drop some seed in this guy. There we go. Perfect. I'll just jump over here. Now, the big question is, what are we going to put in the ground? Okay, so that'll get us at least one more fill up. So what do we want to put in the ground? I'd like to do one of the new ones. I have no idea how much they are going to make us, what the price of them are. So let's see. Let's get over here. Let's open it up. Close the cover. That's good. All right. There we go. Wow, you turny little booger. It's definitely going to take a little while for me to get used to. It just goes right now. This would probably be a good one for a steering wheel if I had such an animal. So, all right, so what, what, what? Let's pull up our menu again, and let's see 
What do we got? Is it over here? There's triticale, rye, spelt, carrots, onions. So what do we got? What is the best price here? Seven fifty-five for triticale. Seven fifty-four spelt. Six ninety. So onions and carrots are not. They're probably a lot like potatoes. I do believe, where you get a massive quantity, but they're not not a huge price. Field grass. I really don't know anything about field grass, so I would just be shooting in the dark. I'm assuming it's light grass, but uh, macanthus. Well, that's not a biggie either. Let's. Uh, oh, what? Let's see. Wasn't triticale the biggest? Okay, let's do that. I've never done it. Looks a lot like wheat. I've never done rye. Uh, Spelt. I had to do carrots and onions more on Stone Valley. So let's see here. What can we do? Grass. Oh, trick to cow. There we go. All right. So let's drop it down. Turn it on. And I know we can do a little double tap, but actually I think it's going to go like 16 mile an hour. We putting crops in the ground. We appear to be. I mean, shoot, that's not bad at all. It almost makes double tap not needed. Now, if this was a bigger field, we could, you know, put crops in the ground at 26 mile an hour, but I don't think we need that fast here. 15, 16 seems to be a good speed. So let's, and I don't think we need to, oh, see, I always do that. I always raise the planter up. I guess that's more for uh, fast farming. If you just turn it off and don't raise it up, the fast farming stays active. But if you raise it up, then you have to redouble click if you're fast farming. So let's get our first field of triticale in the ground and get this thing done. like Triticale uses quite a bit of seed when you're putting it in the ground here. I mean, we've gone through, what, 44%? Well, I mean, I guess it's only... Oh, that's fertilizer I'm looking at, not seed. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. So, uh, fertilizers, I mean, really, that's not bad because we only had 2,000 liters of fertilizer. And what, 3,000 liters of seed, I think? So that's not too bad. Which is good. As a, it doesn't make us a whole lot of money. But I think it's going to be worth a shot anyway. Now, this tractor, I think, is ridiculously good. For a hundred grand, I just don't know how you can go wrong. Now, I do know that I bumped up the horsepower from, what, 510 to a stupid 1,000. But even at the 510, I just don't know how you can beat it. You can't get anything close to this kind of horsepower for that kind of money. Nothing even close. You can't hardly buy a small tractor for that kind of money. When you can get one that will pull almost any implement you got, 510 horses, this thing is a beast. Turning radius is ridiculous. It's actually going to take me a while to get used to uh, this thing. But I think we've had a pretty good uh, first episode on here. I think this map is going to be a lot of fun. It's got a lot of little uh, things that are different. The graphics on it are good. Everything looks really good. I think it's so well done. It's going to be a lot of fun. 
Now, hopefully I can figure out what is going on with the animals and why I can't uh, even look at the animal pens. I can try it again just to see. I guess it's a... Uh, yeah. So that's doing nothing. I still can't go back to that. But that's all right. We'll figure it out. It's got to be a mod conflict. I think I was watching... Who was it? I think it was Daggerwin just the other day, and he was having an issue where he could not click that either. I don't think it was on the same map. I think he's doing a different map. Might have been Chellington. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Nothing's guaranteed. <laughs> Uh, not at all. But either way, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. If you like it, please let me know. If you didn't, again, let me know that as well. I'll take it all. Have yourselves a good day, everybody. Until next time, see ya!